This doesn't work in general when we're working over the real numbers or the complex numbers, but there are other number systems, other ranks, as we call them in abstract algebra, where this works every single time. What we want is for a squared plus b squared to be equal to a plus b squared. And when you expand that parenthesis, what you get is a squared plus ab plus ba plus b squared. So once you've canceled out the squares, what we need is for ab plus ba to be zero. Over the rational numbers, over the real numbers, over the complex numbers more generally, if we have that ab plus ba is equal to zero, then we have that 2ab is equal to zero. And since 2 is non-zero, we have that either a or b has to be a zero, which leads to boring examples where the square root of a squared for a positive number a is equal to a. But what if 2 was equal to zero? There are such rings, such fields, such number systems, such as F2, which can be realized as Z modulo 2, the number 0 and 1 and their congruences modulo 2, where the number 2 is 0. And in that case, A plus B squared is always equal to A squared plus B squared for any A and B in F2. So, for example, 1 squared plus 1 squared, that is equal to 2, which is 0, and 1 plus 1 is 0, a squared is also 0, so it works. But this example is slightly boring also because F2 only has two elements. However, there are other rings of characteristic 2 that are infinite, such as polynomials with coefficients in F2 and the quotient of polynomials with coefficients in F2 that gives you the rational functions in uh, F2 coefficients. And in that, in that world, in that ring, we also have that a plus b squared is always equal to a squared plus b squared. So for example, 1 plus x squared is equal to 1 squared plus x squared. But even if 2 is non-zero, there are other ways that ab plus ba can be equal to zero when we have rings that multiplication is not commutative. For example, you could have that ab and ba are both zero, so a and b are what we call zero divisors, elements that are non-zero, but they multiply to be zero, or you could have that ab is equal to minus ba. And these behaviors can occur in rings of matrices. For example, in the 2 by 2 matrices with real coefficients, if I take A to be this matrix and B to be that matrix, I do have that A times B is 0 and B times A is also 0. And therefore, we can verify that for this pair of matrices, even though the number 2 is non-zero, we do have that A squared plus B squared is equal to A plus B squared. And in this ring of matrices, 2 by 2 matrices with real coefficients, we can also have that a times b is equal to minus b times a. For example, this is exactly what happens for this pair of matrices a and b. And for such pair of matrices, you can also verify that this is an example of two matrices such that a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b squared.